Well, thank you for the floor. Uh, Zora, I believe, mentioned almost everything. Uh, perhaps several conclusions from the morning session where the outputs were that creative potential is not a problem of Slovakia, but the stage of implementing or transforming these ideas into com end products in creative industry and creating favorable environment for for the artists, for artists. Also, the economic dimension of the whole problem is that on one hand, we have creative authors, we have some structures of creative industry, but unless we have a mass of consumers or the mass of consumers is limited, then uh, the possibilities of uh, growth of creative industry uh, are small. So I'll debate then <coughs> was directed towards the fact how to, well, educate or train the consumer, even though I don't like the word educate, uh, it gives some kind of a strange connotation, but how to change the system of education in such a way that it, th that uh, people who graduate from schools are open to changes, who are critical, because that would um, open up the room for their creative potential, even at their age of 18 and 20. And there is a bigger potential for consumer s space. And that is then a bigger space or room for making use of creative potential. And as we've heard, creative economy or using the creativity as a growth factor is something that always uh, reflects uh, also issues related to current economic crisis. Okay, so I just sum up. So there is some kind of a conflict between regulation and self-regulation, uh, interventions of the states, are they positive or negative? And from the second panel, education or educating a potential consumer of the product of cultural industry, a potential of educational system that could help these creative disciplines to be interconnected and implemented in practice. Now